This guide shows you how to import your photos into Windows 10. First of all, you need to plug your camera in through the USB cable. When the device is connected, you should see a select device to import from. If this doesn't appear, then click the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and then type photos. Then click on Photos Trusted Windows Store app. Left click this once. Then click the import button up here at the top right hand corner of the photos window. You will now see select a device to import from. Now you might have several devices like I have to import from and if you're not sure which one it is then just try each one individually and see what happens. Like, I'm going to start from the top, so I'm going to try clicking on H. Yep, there's nothing to import. We couldn't find anything to import from that device. Make sure it's unlocked and then try again. So I'll click try again. And I'm just going to go to the next one down on the list. Yep, again, there's nothing to import. So I try again and I scroll down and go to the next one on the list. And yes, it's found some items. So the next thing we need to do is we need to deselect any photos we don't want to import. We can do that by just clicking on the tick in the top right hand corner of each photo. So say for instance I didn't want to import this picture of a koala bear there. Okay so I've unticked it so there's only seven items out of the eight selected now. So next thing I do is I click continue. Now the photos are going to be imported into the pictures folder and um, they're going to be imported into a folder within pictures. Um, it, it's going to be the date basically that the pictures were taken. So if the camera clock is incorrect then you might find it difficult to find. Um, but you can change where the pictures are going to be imported by clicking on change where they're imported. So I'm just going to left click this once here because I'm going to select where I want them imported. And yeah, okay, I want them imported in pictures. Um, but what I want to do is I want to put them in a, a folder. Um, and I'm just going to call that folder. So I click on new folder and I'm just going to call that folder test. You can call it whatever you like. Obviously, it would be best to call it something um, to do with uh, the pictures that you're importing. So if it was a, a holiday to Spain, you'd type Spanish holiday and perhaps the year or the month and the year if you go several times a year. Um, so I've just called it test. OK, I click away from the yellow folder and I'm just going to click on it once. So down the bottom here, it says folder test and then I click add this folder to pictures. So, okay, they're gonna be in imported into my pictures folder in a folder called test. Now it gives us the option to delete imported items after importing. I would say play it safe, don't tick this box, just in case the pictures don't go across right onto your computer. Um, leave the box unticked for the time being. And then I would say manually delete the pictures from your camera once you're, once you're sure that they're on the computer. Or like I do, SD cards are relatively cheap now, so I just keep a copy of the photos on the SD card um, inside my camera as, as, as a backup copy. Okay, so I left click once on import now. And there you go. It tells us that uh, it's finished importing seven photos and we can see the photos in here. Now, if we want to look at any of these photos, we can do it in one of two ways. We can either um, do it from here or we can close this down and we can click on the yellow folder at the bottom of the screen. OK, and then click pictures and there's our folder test. Double click test. And as you can see, it's created a folder called 2009-07. And that's basically when these photos were obviously taken. These are just sample photos, but this when they were when they were taken. So they were taken in 2009 on the seventh month. So I double click that and the photos are in there. If I want to view any of these photos, so say if I wanted to pitch, uh, view the photo of the tulips, I can just double click tulips. And it asks me where do I want to view it. So say if I want to view it in paint, click on a paint and then OK. And then there's my picture of the tulips. 
Obviously, um, for the purpose of this demonstration, the resolution's quite small on the screen, so it's, you, you can't see all the photo here, uh, but on most people's computers, uh, you'd definitely be able to see the whole photo on here. So I'm gonna close this down now. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how we can import that final photo of the koala and put it in an existing folder, a folder that's already set up for us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna left click on the start button, I'm gonna type in photos on the keyboard, and there we go, photos comes up, and uh, we click on photos, trusted Windows Store app. Left click that, and then I'm gonna click on the import button up here. Select a device to import from. Again, if you're not sure, you can't remember what device yours is, just click on the ones, click on the from top, and, uh, and just click try again where it says nothing to import, and I think mine was G in actual fact, I'll try that. Yeah, there we go. And obviously I've already imported all of these other icons, uh, uh, other photos, so I just unselect all the photos that I haven't imported. A quick way of unselecting all the photos, if you've only got one or two you want to import, is to click on the clear button up there. And, uh, and that clears all the photos in that section. Um, so I'm gonna click on Koala, because we wanna transfer the Koala. Okay, and I'm gonna click continue. Okay, so asks us where do we want to import them from. Now it's gonna stick them in pictures, but I wanna stick them in a predetermined folder. So I'm gonna click change where they're imported. Okay, and what I wanna do is I wanna select the folder called test. I want it to go in the folder called test. So I click test and then make sure it says test down there and then add folder to these, uh, add the pictures to this folder and then we click on import and there you go photos has finished importing one photo and as we can see there there's the picture of the koala so i'm going to come out of this and we're just going to go into the folders again so if i click the yellow folders down the bottom okay and then click pictures and then double click test and then double click 2907 and there we see there's the picture of the koala that we've added to our pictures and there you go that's how you import pictures into Windows 10.